on the journey, though, since that strange and cruel birth, can you articulate uh, what has accompanied you? Like, what have you um, experienced along the road to where you are now? Ooh, magic. <sighs> if I could say magic, mystical, beautiful, spiritual magic. I have to first say thank you to my Ryan because he's been so present in so many ways that only someone who is open and who believes and who looks for the signs that are always there could understand. And I've, I've, I've developed this beautiful practice of meditation that I'm firmly committed to. And in those practices, I've had the most beautiful experiences, just mystical and magical in so many ways. And it has really, really propelled my belief. Well, I, for me, community is really important. I think I need people. And I think that I've always found myself in the company of other people who have also experienced that kind of pain or in music or in movies or um, I feel accompanied in that way and I'm like yes I'm I'm not alone because for me it always goes back to feeling really really alone inside of me and then when I find um, you know art that's been made that perfectly articulates the feeling that I'm going through I feel better. I feel accompanied. I'm like, okay, I have people. Um, these people overcame it. If they can overcome it, I can. It feels like such a miracle that you can go through something so hard and come out and be even better. Early on, Mel was so beautiful and such a sister to me. She was so present and gave me IV drips when I simply could not eat and stay by my side, I only asked for knowing because I didn't know. I came from this background where we weren't even allowed to believe in so many of the things that I now know are true. And I needed to know, I didn't need anyone to tell me that Ryan was okay and he was still with me, I needed to know. And I'm so happy and so incredibly grateful to now say, I know these things. I know it. I've heard his voice. I've had visitation and dreams. I felt him. Like, I know that Ryan is okay. I know he's with me. I know that all our loved ones are okay and they're happy and they're with us. And I, I just see the world so differently. I couldn't be more different than the minute before I discovered this horrible thing that happened. I don't even know who that older person was. And mm. I thought I was a good person. I thought I was compassionate. I didn't even know what compassion was. And it's hard to know what compassion is until your heart is shattered in a zillion pieces. And you walk mm. this earth feeling so empty, but managing to put a smile on your face and understanding that people don't know how empty you are inside. And so now I'm able to look at the world, that checkout person who's rude and distant or the waiter who forgets an order and will say, what an idiot. I told him I wanted no onions. And to see, we don't know what they might be struggling with. We don't mm -hmm. know what goes on behind those smiles. Mm -hmm. And what this pain does is it forces this beautiful level of compassion that I thought I had. I had no idea what true compassion really was and is. Mm -hmm. And now I do. And um I'm so incredibly sorry that losing my child had to bring me here, but here I am. 